the July number was a bit better, but and in the middle of the new and ongoing state of emergency. So this means that the impact of the state of emergency on the consumption of retail sales has been a bit weaker than the previous one. So in that sense, basically, this is a good news for retail sales because the one big factor behind the, the weakened impact on the retail sales is the government has eased the restrictions under the state of emergency. In the previous state of emergency started in, at the end of April, the department store was requested to shut their business. But from June the 1st onward, the department stores are allowed to continue operating. So this means that the, the retail sales would be a bit more resilient against the state of emergency right now. But the big question is, if the Delta variants and the whole kind of outbreak situation get worse, then maybe the government could tighten the regulation once again, and which opened the kind of big downside risk to the retail sales once again. Mm -hmm. What does this mean for economic growth in the second half? Because we know that Japan's economy kind of stagnated in the first half of the year. What's your outlook for the next six months? Yeah, so basically in the coming, you know, the ongoing kind of start quarter from July to September, we cannot be very positive. The, we expect that with just 1% quarter on quarter annualized growth and in, in the consumption. But the, one good news is at least the vaccination rate is increasing a fairly you know, steady pace. Currently, the roughly 45% of the total population has uh, fully vaccinated. And uh, we expect that by the end of September, the fifth, more than 55% of the population will complete their vaccinations. So which is almost comparable to the, United, to the level in the United States. So basically say from October onward, we still expect some, some good recovery in consumption, the 10% quarter on quarter annualized in, in the fourth quarter and which could boost the GDP, but it takes a bit more time, it seems. Mm. What can you tell us about the supply chain disruptions that's happening in the country? Because this spike in the Delta variant cases has caused supply chain disruptions for some Japanese manufacturers, uh, which seems to be weighing on factory output. What's your sense of how this is going to weigh on the industrial sector? Yeah, so basically the, the most kind of say the obvious and the visible impacts are on the car, car sales. So. Basically, say in the last year, the car sales the plunged. So from the end of the last year and early this year, we see the some kind of good rebound, but it's fade away from the March onward this year, the most likely because of the supply disruption uh, in the semiconductor sectors. So that will be the kind of biggest impact so far. So home appliances, et cetera, is also damaged, but uh, we are mostly importing those goods uh, from foreign countries. So. In terms of the domestic production, it's slightly less impacted. 